and let's see what's coming your way and we do have the fool in reverse and the palace of wands we are passion we are foolishly passionate about somebody someone or we have a world of sensuality for somebody palace of wands is a lot of passion we do have the fool in reverse and the three of cups upright um reunion reconciliation fun foolish fun <laughs> maybe you have somebody you uh, you can be quit uh, you, <laughs> what am i saying you can be kids with so we do have the fool in reverse and the three of pentacles absolutely partnership happiness and a little bit kind of um goofy kind of energy right with the fool in reverse well, it's following us around, eh? And we do have the full in reverse and the star in reverse, Aquarius energy. But this is about healing a connection that went probably all over the place. Somebody might have um, um, had some impulsive um, action uh, during this commitment, but at the end of at the end of the day, we have three of cups, three of pentacles, and the star. A partnership is renewed. Ace of pentacles. Ace of coins in this deck, right? Something is renewed, we start over, we take it slow, it's a little bit more solid, more grounded, we can build on. And a bit unconventional. We do have the Hierophant in reverse, Taurus energy. And a little bit unconventional. Between people uh, thinking we're having two different um, ethnic backgrounds, cultures, so on and so forth. So we do have the lovers in reverse, Gemini energy. You might be dealing with the Gemini, Eight of Swords, and the Chariot. I know, time to break free, right? In October. Well, first of all, the universe is saying, um, Aries, you are a little bit in your head about something. Eight of Swords, you are bound to something. You see obstacles where there is no obstacle. And you can move on from the lovers in reverse. If that is a disconnection that you need, we'll see. If that is a partnership that we need to leave behind um, and, um, you know, a break free, probably that's exactly what the universe is saying. But you know what? Let's not jump to conclusions here. Gemini Aquarius energy, but I mainly feel this is you um, channeling that energy and having a sense of freedom and a sense of um, choices in love, but we'll see. So past energy is on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual. Let's have current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual. And let's have the possible outcome. For you, the person you are dealing with, and mutual. And we have you upside down about something, the emperor in reverse. Upside down and getting away. Uh, with the chariot, absolutely, we disconnect, we move away from something, and it's actually beautiful to see. So in the past series, um, King of Cups in reverse and the Three of Pentacles in reverse might have been a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or this speaks highly of an emotional disconnection with somebody. We, le we left the partnership behind. It was something that, um, for a time, um, seemed solid, right? Uh, three of Pentacles is really building a foundation. Um, together, it's a beautiful collaboration of building a life, uh, building um, a home, right? Um, and it has the contribution contribution of everyone uh, to something that uh, looked emotionally fulfilling. Everybody was on um, on the project, if I can say it like this, and um, you know, kind of emotionally motivated to move forward. But then. I feel that you kind of had to drop this um, and um, and move away. Now, the person you are dealing with, Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, you can have a Gemini in your life at this point. Uh, and it was a tower moment. It was a mess, whatever decision you made about this partnership and to let it go and move and move and, um, you know, um, um, oh my god, and right the tower. It was their world was um, broken kind of in pieces. Of course, it has a sense of coldness to it. Um, you might be dealing with somebody who, um, you know, has a bit of experience, went through life. They know a thing or two about explosions, and I feel that, you know, they kind of, uh, they remain cool despite uh, their world being um, really falling apart, right? You might have had two people, um, Aries, but 
can also be an energy. Mutual energies between the two of you, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the Eight of Pentacles. No effort and no stability in this connection. Might have been a king with two queens, but it's not the uh, main frame here. It's, um, it's actually about, I believe, your decision to no longer invest in something that was not worth investing. Uh, and at the end of the day, uh, both of you, you were not making the effort you're supposed to. Mutual energies is the Eight of Pentacles, which is an energy of not focusing, not paying attention, not trying to learn what the other person loves and enjoys so that we meet halfway. And Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Um, yeah, no stability whatsoever. And um, I'm hearing no, kinds, uh, no kind words um, either. So um, I know, a difficult time, right? So where are we right now? Uh, have we already replaced them? We do have the Queen of Wands and the King of uh, the King of Wands upright and the Queen of Wands in reverse. <laughs> amazing energy of soulmates, um, Aries. Amazing energy of you focusing on yourself. Amazing energy of um, you balancing out the uh, masculine and the feminine, the Yin and Yang, right? Um, and this is you. This is all you, actually. Queen of Wands, King of Wands, right? Can also be another fire sign that in your life we might have left somebody behind. Um, an, an unstable relationship and we might have, um, actually, we might be moving towards a new connection here. It's like fencing somebody when we look at this energy. King of Wands, Queen of Wands, right? It's being on the same page. It's soulmate. It's really connecting with somebody and I do feel that you develop a connection at this time. Or a reconnection for that matter because we go straight to the king and queen which kind of gives me the um, the energy of a, of a very uh, developed very important connection that you have with somebody extremely mature equally passionate and like between two equals right so it feels good it feels like home king and queen of wands and any other uh, pair like this um now this person of yours um they, they still want to make things right with you, right? We have the Six of Pentacles, which is Justice in uh, Minor Arcana. And the Palace of Swords. They are angry. They are frustrated. Um, you know, kind of, I don't know, but it has an energy of accusing, of lying, you know. Uh, swords in reverse, they, they cut, they lie, they cheat, they, they hide the truth, right? So... But because it's paired with the Six of Pentacles, there's a sense of justice, seeking justice, seeking balance, seeking to, you know, kind of uh, balance the scales or give you something to, so that we go back to to the energy of effort and partnership that we once had, right? That's, um, it, it has nothing to do with giving up on the contrary. It has, it still has the energy of swords. Let's find solution. Let's be smart about it. Let's not throw, you know, the things away that we've built and also a desire to reciprocate you know whatever you think you walked away because of they want to give it right back to you um mutual energies right now we are both struggling with happiness or for happiness right two of pentacles trying to stay in balance you do they do right um probably focusing on work focusing on taking more responsibility and the ten of cups it has the energy of wanting to work out, making the effort to have that happiness again. For some of you, it's about family. For some of you, it's two independent desires, right? I want to have my happiness. I'm willing to work for my own happiness and kind of let go. We have these energies of breaking free from a mental prison, right? So... I feel on your side there is you have somebody in mind or somebody somebody else found you while this person is is completely furious about the tower moment they've been very cool in the past but now it's like completely with the palace of swords in reverse you know um completely furious and frustrated and yet saying you know we cannot give up two of pentacles is not giving up despite the work despite the effort despite the world going up and down up and down right we try to keep the two pentacles um in balance up and running so you know no they are if you're wondering no they will not give up uh soon um 
Aries, coming your way, we do have the Nine of Swords and the Ace of Swords. Clarity about what happened, right? We've been with the Eight of Swords very stressed, Nine of Swords very stressed, all your own creation of the mind, and Ace of Swords is finally a vision over the stress. Finally knowing what, ha what has happened, right? Finally having an idea on how to move forward. Finally getting a grip on the stress and knowing how to have something new. And I feel you are heading towards something new here. Uh, it, it has been a stressful time. Probably for a few um, weeks, you're, you're going to kind of have the same energy, eight of swords, nine of swords, right? Stressed out, um, but finally seeing, right? Finally seeing the truth. Um, and Aries, this person of yours, temperance and the two of cups, such that is energy, but I feel this is love and compromise. They want love and compromise on a current situation. They are so not giving up on you. Love, two of cups, right? Soulmate bond, body, mind and soul connection, uh, soulmates. Twin flame, if that's how you relate to this person and the temperance, let me, let us find a solution. We still can find a solution to this. I'm willing to compromise. I'm willing to meet you halfway. And um, Aries, the silence between the two of you is burdening to them, burdening to you. We do have the Hermit and the Ten of Wands. For some of you, the, um, the journey and the lessons are very heavy on you. They might be very heavy on them. It's the mutual energies. Whatever happened and whatever conclusion withdraw from this are heavy, heavy weight, right? It has the energy of feeling responsible after much thinking. The hermit is going in retreat and thinking about and learning the lessons and looking at the past and looking at the future. So whatever conclusion comes out, both of you, you feel somehow responsible for what happened. But the difference is you gain clarity, they gain love and compromise for you, right? They, they want to find a way. They want to find a way to love you back or to allow for you to allow them back into your life. But I still feel you are elsewhere, but we'll see. Let's ask for some guidance. Let's see what the universe wants us to know. Yeah. So willing to work. Ten of Wands, you know, it's, uh, it's the energy of working hard so that we reach a goal earlier than usual, right? That's the that's Ten of Wands. Uh, and we take it voluntarily, right? We take extra work because we know we're gonna, we're gonna reach, um, you know, um, um, a goal before anybody does, right? Um, so Aries, when it comes to this connection, worthiness, some of you, um, actually, I don't know if you lost your self-esteem in the process, the universe is asking you actually to focus on your self-esteem, your self-worth, to remind yourself where you come from and what you have accomplished and where you go. We do have emotional freedom. And let me tell you with the Eight of Swords that we got there, I'm pretty sure somebody needs to um, disconnect. You might be in a codependent relationship with somebody. You might have lost your worth in this uh, type of um, connection. <laughs> and connection came out emotional freedom and connection yeah yeah remember who you are when i see all this right remember who you are you are not the connection you are not you know like the uh, the most intimate part of the other person you are a person right worthy by the way so um i'm picking up energy of codependency and the universe is asking you to break free from that connection and yeah, peace of mind, emotional freedom and serendipity, absolutely peace of mind, work on your peace of mind, you are guided actually, to let them go, uh, if that is, um, if that is something that we see here as, as a piece of guidance is, we break free, we focus on our peace of mind and worthiness, and guess what, that is more going on that meets the eye. So somebody is hiding something and it's better for you to know, right? We do not go back. That is more than you think you know. Now let's look into the energies we need and want to put back into the flow. 
Yeah, that is why we get the chariot as the overall energy. I don't feel you are guided towards, you are guided to run in the opposite direction. We have the lovers in reverse and the emperor in reverse. Kind of a very manipulative, con um, um, you know, control freak kind of love. And with the lovers in reverse, it's kind of, um, you know, we disconnected or this love is not a healthy one. It's a manipulative one and you are all entangled with the eight of wands in a very... Um, difficult, right? Relationship. A type of relationship where you lost your um, your full self-esteem. Um, forgiveness. So the energies we need to put back into the flow, we do have forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. So it is all about forgiveness. We forgive and we move on, Aries. We do have abundance. We have emotional freedom and abundance. We need to bring back abundance into your life, an abundant mentality. And this is what you have to say yourself all through the day so that you activate that, right? I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. And it's interesting, it comes with emotional freedom. So I kind of feel that we might be codependent with somebody because of finances and money, uh, security and stability. And the universe is asking you emotional freedom and manifest abundance for yourself. We have connection and gratitude. So yeah, as always, that is, that is always uh, a blessing in a connection that is always a lesson. And the universe is asking you to find, right, the gratitude. Um, in your heart again so I am thankful for the life and the opportunities that it presents I am thankful for this life and the opportunities it presents and we have tolerance serendipity and tolerance um, they might have a, a certain way about them and the universe is saying your peace of mind comes from tolerating something when it comes to this person so you appreciate other points of view because you sense the love in everyone, right? We accept other point of view. And for some of you, surrender your addictions. Whether you're addicted to substances, food, people, sex, or overworking, take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives. And it's interesting, emotional freedom, right? Speaks of codependency, speaks of emotional codependency with somebody, someone, somebody. And you are actually asked to look into it and surrender that energy. Now let's ask for some general guidance. Let's see what we need to hear as we move on through October. And Aries, you are safe. Archangel Michael, I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you, your loved ones, and home. So Aries, you are safe. We do have facing fear. Yeah, emotional freedom, it has some stems in fear, right? So major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. And bottom of the deck. We have throat chakra. The angels are helping you lovingly speak your truth. You need to say something, Aries. I understand. I, I feel like standing your ground. All, all these energies are saying that you might not be speaking your truth because somehow love and abundance are entangled, right? And actually, the point is peace of mind, your self-worth, uh, your truth, and facing fear. It's all right. You're going to be good. Uh, that's a point. That's a, the advice I'm hearing here uh, for some of you struggling. Um, and I know they want love and compromise. They want love and compromise. Two of Cups temperance. Um, and find a compromise, I want to say. Um, so Aries, this is all that I have for you guys. You know I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. Please, please stay strong. Please stay safe. And come see me next time. Love you. Take care.